Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video is going to be a very quick review on the Makeup Revolution Liquid Highlighter. So these are um, drugstore products and you know I haven't abandoned all my drugstore products just because I've started to get into high-end makeup. And these look really cute, they're a dupe obviously for the Cover FX Illuminate Drops, which I still haven't managed to get hold of yet. And um, I was pretty brave and I chose a shade I don't normally use. I stick to the champagne golds normally but i wanted to see if i could pull it off it looks a gorgeous um color so yeah i'm gonna try it today and see what i think and compare it to um a few other uh liquid highlighters i have i don't have that many so let's get on it i did try it out on the store and i was pretty amazed and i'll do a swatch and then i'll put some on my face i've got a window just above me so the light is kind of hitting my face but I don't have any, I might have barely some on from this morning. Hmm. Let me wipe a little bit of that off and then give you guys a proper honest review on it and see how it applies to the skin and um, give me a sec. Okay, so I've taken what I had on this morning off my face. It wasn't that much, but I did use a primer underneath, which probably is giving me a natural radiance. I don't know, but yeah, it's. I have took everything off on this part of my face and this part of my face and I'll give you guys uh, an honest review on what I think of it. So these are really cute. Can they get any closer to looking like um, cover effects though? I'm, I'm not sure but let's see. I'm going to try it. This is the first time I'm doing this and maybe I should shake it first. Hold on, hold on. roll up my sleeve sorry about the sparkly jumper it's a bit sparkly but here we go and I'm gonna do it right there one drop quite nice it's a little bit runny as you can see I can't wait to try the shade out I really can't I'm gonna put the iconic London next to it which is obviously a, a glass bottle. Complete different shade, but I just wanted to see what the consistency is like. So looking at them both together, right there, the Makeup Revolution seems a bit more like it's got a gel base to it. It's got lots of pigment and I don't think you're gonna be disappointed with it, but this looks a complete different formula to the uh, Makeup Revolution. Um, I'll swatch them both, and obviously they're different shades. So this is the um, Iconic London Original shade, beautiful. And I'll just go ahead and do that one. And yeah, so as I swatched it, a lot more watery, you know, could be a good thing. It's going to be very intense on the skin and you can move it around quite easy where these, the Iconic London and the Cover um, FX Illuminate Drops, I believe are a little bit more harder to move around and that's why it's always best to apply. I, I always apply mine straight to the sponge and then onto the face and not onto the face because you just leave like dots around on your face. So, I mean, it is beautiful, but you can see it's a lot more wet than this but definitely a different texture to that but I mean I like it look at that it's such a pretty summer color we'll see how it applies on my face in a second and the only other one I have which could maybe just wipe my fingers which I could compare it similarly similar to the color is the Maybelline strobing liquid um this is quite a nice one and again if applied straight to the skin it leaves a residue and you have to really work it into the skin to get it to blend in properly okay so this is definitely more of a so it's not as light as the makeup revolution and it's there i should have probably swatched it next to yeah and it's more creamy so okay yeah so this is a lot more creamier than the Iconic London, but it's very light and it does dry very quick. And I have tested this out and wore it on my face and it, it's got good staying power, so it's not bad. 
for a um, liquid illuminator. Right, let's get on to it. Let's try this out on my face because I can't wait any longer and I don't have that much time. And I'm gonna squeeze it onto my beauty sponge. It's not a beauty blender. And we'll see how it goes, it's so nice. I think I'll try it this side first, just to see. Okay, this is excellent. It's not blending in at all when I put it straight onto the sponge. Mm, and this is why I don't buy drugstore a lot anymore. It's not fair, is it? This is what it's all about. This is honest reviews. This is what I think. I'm going to try a different sponge. Let me see. Because it could be the crappy sponge I'm using. I've got a mini Ecos tool, which I'll spray with some spray first. Just to get it down. And we're going to try, I'll just go over that a little bit. No, that's, that is staying there. You see? It's not budging. And if I wipe it with my fingers, yeah, it's just dried in and flaking off. No. It's a, a gorgeous colour, but no, the formula is not right, I'm afraid. If you get close up. Maybe I'll put too much on. I mean, I'm sure if you work with it and work with it and work with it, you can get it to work for you. But I don't have time, personally, to try and make the, you know, if it, it is nice. Let me try it on the other side and give it a good go. This time I'll put it on the skin. I'll see if that makes a difference. The window is annoying me because it's showing a lot of light. Okay. No. I'm so disappointed. I'm not gonna lie. It's a highlighter for sure. But whatever they've done with the formula, it's not very blendable. And now my camera is not going to pick it up. No, I'm really disappointed in that. I mean, I've made a mess of that side anyway. I'm going to have to start over again and see how it really works. So, what a disappointment that was. I'm just going to take this off. And I'm going to use a different... A different um, tool to apply it with. All right, let's try my real technique sponge, which is filthy. That's why I don't want to use this today. Right, well, I'm gonna give it one more shot. And I'm going to apply it on my hand this time. Dip the cleanest part of my sponge in there. And let's see how this goes. No. It just leaves blotches on my face without blending it in. Okay. I have had enough already of this. So these are the swatches I'd done earlier. Um, this is the Iconic London. This was the Makeup Revolution and this was the Maybelline. And I'm just gonna see how they feel to touch. So the Iconic London is still a little bit tacky. And I'll use, that one feels more sticky. Very, very sticky. And coming off of my finger. So the Iconic London to be fair. 
and then the Maybelline one has completely dried. <laughs> so yeah, that's dried completely. That's just old stuff. Well, my overall opinion is I will not be buying it again. This can be used maybe for a present for my daughter, um, Halloween. And um, on days when I really have the time to work with it into the skin, because I do, I'm going to go ahead and get the cover fix blossom. That's what I'm going to do. But yeah, I'm not impressed with this. Um, I found it too hard to blend in. And it's the, the, to me, the formula is not up there with what I want it to be as good as the other ones. And that is it. Sorry I rambled on, it's my first impression review on that. Um, I wasn't sure how it was gonna go. I really wanted to be happy about it and as you saw on camera, it didn't go as planned, but that is what honest reviews are about. Right, I've jumped back into the video just to be totally fair and 100% honest with the review. I've worked it a little bit more into my skin and it has blended out to how I would want it to blend out. Um, it took about five minutes to get it how I want it. It might still be a little bit excessive on that side. But it's such a gorgeous colour that um, it's probably worth working with it um, if you want to save yourself some money and go down the road of trying this out. I personally am not going to do it, but it you can. You can use it as what it's supposed to be. It is nice. It's not um, a complete waste. You can work with it. So there, that's what I think. Um, thanks for stopping by again. Please subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think. Have you tried it yourself? Have I done something wrong to make it apply um, the way it did on my skin initially, which was <laughs> crazy. Um, I really appreciate any feedback you guys have got for me and I'll be back soon with another video. Take care, bye. I'm about to catch a body, yeah, baby. Let her way grind on Said I'm about to catch a body, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. It's going down. I'm about to catch a body.